Welcome to the uh, Red Hat Cloud Platforms Business Unit OpenShift Twitch stream. I'm uh, Eric Jacobs. I'm going to be your producer and host today. We're joined by Chris Short, also from our technical marketing team. Say hello, Mr. Chris. Hello, Mr. Chris. And uh, wait, you weren't supposed to say Mr. Chris. Ah, Come on, I got gotcha. you. So anyway, um, so we are <laughs> we are going to be exploring uh, OpenShift 4.3. Uh, both of us are no talent clowns when it comes to software development. And so we have chosen to try to be software developers and yep. we're going to be playing with, um, uh, playing with OpenShift here on Twitch today, uh, trying to hack our way through what, what language did we end up choosing? Mr. Chris, uh, Python, I figured we use like a Django framework or something maybe, right? Like that seems so pretty popular. Do an application and a database and a, and a prepackaged application at that. Did, I mean, is that too much? What were you I, thinking? I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I'm busy trying to tweet to the world here that we're. Uh, oh, we're you want me to like tweet? To out. Yeah, we should probably both tweet. I don't, I don't know oh, if you want to show it. your tweet while you do it. If you have a way to. Uh, no, I have another window open someplace else. I can what do that. What is the with. name of our Twitch stream here? Are we? Uh, we are Red, Red Hat, Hat OpenShift. Open shift. All one word. Yes, sir. Red Hat OpenShift. If I go to Twitch.tv on my other monitor here, are we? Do I see myself? Is this like Inception esque? Inception, Inception. Well, I mean, I see myself on OBS and I see myself on the screen. Yeah, we are live, man. That is that is just creepy. All right, so I'm gonna. <laughs> we are it's live creepy, on huh? Twitch and broadcasting. How to be developers on OpenShift. Uh, when neither am I so what's your Twitter handle uh, at Chris short well that's certainly easy that's the intent it, I, there's a lot of Chris shorts and tech surprisingly that so yeah like when a new platform comes out we typically rush to go get the the handle so yeah that's why I am Chris short in some places and the Chris short in others the Chris short look at that all right yeah, just, well, you know, it's I like the, the Ohio State. You know, University, I I hope know. that OpenShift behaves better than Twitter just did because I swear I hit the tweet button and it it's just oh look nothing happened. Finally goes. Okay. All right, I have I have let the world know. All right, man. Well, so um, what are you showing us right now? Well, I I'm showing you the uh the OpenShift you home screen. Or, you want me to make it bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You want full screen here? Sorry, not bad. Yeah, uh, clacky keyboard is going to drive people absolutely bananas. Well, you know, it's your clacky keyboard, not everyone else's. Well, that's, that's, um, that's what I meant. My keyboard's going to drive me. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, so we are. Shift? This is OpenShift, man. Like, I've got a freshly spun up 4.3 cluster. It's uh, 4.3.5 uh, is the version number here. I can't update to 4.3. I think 13 is the latest right now. But uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. But it is a one-click update if we wanted to. Well, I don't, I, would you would you upgrade your cluster as a software developer? Somehow, I don't think that's... I uh, mean, probably not, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. The, Just give uh, everybody the, access, man. It's all, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you're if you're logged in as cluster admin, you know, off you go. Um, but, you know, we're going to try to dig into, you know, some of the other parts. You know, Eric and I spent a lot of time in the, the administration and optimization and operation of OpenShift, you know, today... Oh, Eric. Yeah, you, Eric, uh, and okay. me, not Chris. No, not some other guy. Like, we spend a lot of time, like, making OpenShift work uh, okay. for people. Rarely do we actually put applications on OpenShift, like, for ourselves, like, to tinker with. Right. I mean, you know, so that's kind of the goal today, right? Like, uh, my extent of Python knowledge is uh, very limited. Uh, your extent is somewhat better, uh, Eric, I, I believe. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know... Oh. It, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but you know, we, we can, uh, we can, you can try to make my crappy Python app work on OpenShift. Oh yeah, I, mean, I already got crack. it to run on OpenShift, so it, it's kind of it, it'd be sort of cheating. But you've never seen it, so I've never seen it. What crappy app is it? Oh, Ausgaben, the ticket barfing application. Ticket barfing app. Yeah, go to go to go to my GitHub. Uh, <laughs> by the way, you might want to make your browser font bigger. Uh, GitHub.com/slash Thorax, T H O R A X E. Oh, I did a Z instead of an X because that's a Z. Fun. What is this? Yeah. A German keyboard? Uh, maybe. I don't know. By the way, I apologize that my room is such a mess in here. I tried to start organizing a closet over the weekend. <laughs> 
and uh, it just sort of that went well. Exploded. Yeah, it, it well, <laughs> much like the ticket application, it sort of just barfed into the room. Um, yeah, Housegeben, A U S G E B E N. Let's just look at your repository. Your Unless I put it in the wrong place. By the way, that picture looks nothing like you. Of course, you're holding something. It's, there it it's, is. It's a little bit old. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, so this thing. Yeah. What does this do? Do you have some kind of use case for distributed? Distributing simple users' passwords and arbitrary. Well, there you go. So we do we do all these cool workshops for you know potential right. OpenShift customers and for other folks. Yeah. And um, so you know Start we you. we used to use Etherpad. Not that there's anything wrong with Etherpad. No. But, but like yeah. you know you and I both go into Etherpad and then uh, you take user two and then I take user two and now it's just a giant. Now it's a mess. mess. Yeah. yeah. And so this was like a terrible idea during a hack fest we did in munich where um it was like well we we should come up with an idea to hand out tickets and then of course we're in germany so hey uh, hmm. uh chris blum you're german what's the german word for handing out a ticket or something like that he's like uh like, i ticket. mean i guess it would be ausgaben i was like okay that's the name of this application and wow so okay that's, that's what we got fun all yeah. right so okay. Did you just fork giving it? Giving tickets for workshop. I did fork it, yes, just in case. Just so, in case you yeah. break it. Yeah. Blow it up. All right. So Figure how do I get I no this idea. thing started? Let's see. Let's go to my OpenShift dealio. Yeah, you definitely need to make your browser font bigger. Yeah. Or okay. Something. You 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 nerds One, two, in your 4K three. screens. There's three. Is that enough? More? Uh, did anything change? There's a yeah. <laughs> there we it go. Looks really... All right. Okay. That's, that's, there's more. I see more. Is, is it good? Can yeah. you see better? Do you want eh, more? That's enough. Okay. I'll give you one more. All right. Okay. So what is this? Is this a single pod? What are we going to do? Multi-pod? Like, how is this app designed? Probably. Uh, not, yeah. Not it's so... a, it uses, it's not even fancy. It uses SQLite right. internally. Like oh, cool. Baked okay. In even better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so I, I haven't actually tried to point it like i haven't tried to do source to image with this one so i don't even know i tried oh. to do source to image locally and i didn't have a good i didn't have a good experience I, but so that I, was local yeah, so I, yeah i don't i yeah okay so let's um let's just deploy it as a pod you think that would work uh, no i don't you, well you got to build it from source yeah, i mean there is an image on on quay but well let's let's see do we want to Shit, I've never done this before. I've never been in the builds thing. Language. Sorry. Shoot. Shoot. We haven't we haven't flipped that mature flag, folks, yet. So Dag we're, still, we're still deciding on whether how explicit we want to be or not. Okay. So you might want to create a new. Pro I would not recommend putting this in the default project. Just no. Just to yeah, say. yeah, yeah. No. I yeah. Totally just realized that we're gonna call this us wagon whatever it's called house wagon sure house house wagon house no. wagon house wagon <laughs> no. house music what is, it? what is it called Aus -Gaben? house gaben house yes so uh, gaben uh, is like to give okay and house is kind of out of and and so it's house gaben kind of because the ticket is coming out of the machine and so I still need to go on Fiverr and pay somebody to design a logo that's just like a like a vending machine barfing out tickets. Tickets. Yeah. I could probably do that. Or You're my exactly. three year old could do that. My four year old could do that. Anyway, so creating a project barf. here. Uh, yes, profusely, uh, if you're not careful. Um, <laughs> all right. So. Oh, okay. Config. We actually have somebody watching our stream. Hey, Clater. Adam Clater. I think Adam. Hey. Right? Aren't you Adam? Yeah. I don't know. He, he, don't gave, he gave us a link to an app for FEMA oh. web. Hmm. Oh, FEMA web. Okay. I will me, I will send it to you on our long, no, no, stream. No. Oh, it worked on OpenShift 3. Oh, even better. I don't have a good way to send it to you while you're streaming. Other than... You can send it to me through Slack. Or yeah, but then, I could do you have Slack on a different monitor? Yeah. Yeah, I have oh, multiple okay. monitors. But I have got the chat open here, so I, I can just do that too. Oh, you know. well, there you go. You are smart. I have the chat open as well, but it's really tiny. I need to make it. Yeah, it is very tiny. I don't know why, like the chat is so small on Twitch. That's weird. I want to break that out into a separate window or something. You can tell that this is our first time, so you know. Yes, like this is why we're doing this, so we can get better at it. Uh, users in chat. I can collapse it, but I cannot pop it out. Well, whatever. I'll go to mod view. Uh, I do have another. I have another chat application. 
let's see. I'm just switching to mod view, and I'm hoping that helps. Ah, good. I could. Uh, there we go. Broadcast. Oh, but this users. is logged in as the wrong person. Let's Are you logged in as yourself or something? Yeah. No, I'm still logged into the wrong Twitch for. Oh. Okay. Well, I have the app. Fema Web is a test app. Learning Python three, building an OpenShift application, and consulting Open Fema data as a web service. So it has an API. That's awesome. It has service URLs and all kinds this of stuff. This is just a different app. Yeah, OK. Yeah, this, this, this is, is pretty cool. OK, so FastCLI, I believe, is OpenFast, too. So I know Alex uh, pretty Fast well. That's fun. FastCLI? FastCLI. What is yes. that? Uh, uh, OpenFast. It is function as a service kind of deal. Um, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, I was confused. Sorry. It's OK. I'm often confused. It works with both open I, I am often and confused yes. and I often break things. So they... so that's why we're here. Yeah. All right. So we're going to use this app. Okay. <clears throat> Enough with your Oswagon, but we'll use that namespace Fine. just because. Just because I'm lazy. Because <clears throat> every good sysadmin or ops person is lazy, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. So. I just realized that I might be, if I change, I got to be careful about how I alt tab <laughs> and how I move my mouse because I can like, my mouse is suddenly moving over the Twitch stream right now. Whee! Oh, yeah, yeah. This is you weird. should, you should turn off, uh, there's a checkbox for the scene, uh, scroll, like open the properties for the scene, oh, scroll boy. down, there's a checkbox for, I apologize uh, in advance for whatever the cursor. just happened. It should be pretty safe. You can also do it in studio view, but that's probably harder. I don't see a oh, I don't see a setting for the scene to do that on the scene. You mean the, on the, the on the zoom settings. window, the zoom window setting? There should be a cursor checkbox. The zoom window setting. There should be a cursor checkbox. This is this is this is real. Don't, this is real bush league stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Don't oh, don't make I me. See. You see it now? Don't make me open OBS on my little uh, tiny baby Mac here. In, in case anybody and... knows, uh, view yeah. options. There you go. Nope, nothing about cursor. Really? Yeah. Let's see. Wait, Let's oh, wait, are you you're talking about the Zoom OBS the, window? Yes. Oh. The Zoom setting. Yes, that's what I'm looking at right now. Capture cursor. No. Ta-da. Now you're looking at my downloads folder, apparently. Cool. I'm now streaming. I'm now streaming the wrong thing. There. You oh, I gotta switch your input back. <laughs> what did I do? What? A, oh, oh my God. This oh, is amazing. Man. This is some real fishing <laughs> stuff here. All right, we're back. You can tell that this is new to us, but this makes it so much more fun. Oh man. Uh, Christian says we'll do it live. Yes, we will absolutely. Yes, do it live. yes, we will. We are doing it live. <laughs> Oh, the livest of live. Oh but, man! All right, maybe know. we should actually do some open shift. Yes, let's let's give it a whirl. We're only um we're only thirteen. There's actually an S two I directory in too here. So yeah, yeah. but that's oh, that's by the way, I have a hard stop at two forty five. Well, then that's when we're with, stopping. Uh, open shift uh, Kubernetes roadmap kind of deal. Sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, that that uh, S two I folder is because you can override some of the source to image behaviors with your application. And so, for those who are watching who don't know, um, source to image is a mechanism. It's not specific to OpenShift. It it's one of these things where OpenShift is is designed to work with it, but it was not written specifically for OpenShift. Um, but source to image is a way to combine source code and an existing base image to get a new uh, application image that has your built source code artifact in it that can be executed uh, you know, later. And so OpenShift takes advantage of that. You can override some of the behaviors for source to image by putting scripts in the S2I folder uh, in your source code repository. So that's why that's why that's there, I think. Cool. Pretty sure. So you have far more source to code experience than I do. It's possible. Um, source to image, sorry, S2I, once or twice. whatever so it's called. So in, in um, the... Yeah. In the OpenShift user interface, we should be able to just put the HTTP. This guy right here. Um, 
create a build config no isn't Ranger there a way build? to just like use the developer console to oh deploy yeah that's right fun stuff yep. there we go i'm in the wrong console it's let's okay. go to the developer console you can tell we're how so often jump we're into this so thing. addicted to systems administration <laughs> exactly that we, we forget that there's even. so much more yeah i totally can't even all right okay. so from git, git. yes Let's go grab this git repo. Wait, which URL is it asking for is the question. The repo URL, the HTTP, not the SSH. Okay. Right. All right. Oh, do we know? Yeah, this one right here. What language? Oh, it's also Python. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. We're doing Python anyway. Python, 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 Python. Where is Python? There it is. Python 3.6 is fine, I'm assuming. It said Python 3. Uh, resources. Uh, do we need to do anything with the resources here? Deployment config. Deployment versus deployment config. So yeah, this is this is kind of one of these interesting things. Um, when Kubernetes first was born, so to speak, uh, really all it had was replication controllers and mm -hmm. pods, um, and so there wasn't really a way to roll out new versions of stuff natively. And so Red Hat came up with the idea of a deployment configuration which was a controller that would handle um, the creation and alteration and management of replication controllers. So you had a deployment config, replication controller, and then pods. Uh, and then later on in the life cycle, Kubernetes went, oh yeah, that's, that's a cool idea. You know, we, we're, we wanna start doing that. And so they have deployment. They're very similar. Deployment config has a couple of other options for what causes new deployments. And so when you're dealing with OpenShift, deployment configs can be beneficial because we have a system of triggers that works with things like changing images. So since we're doing building code, we probably want to choose a deployment config because then we can get automated triggers when the build output yeah. changes. Does that make sense? Mucky muck around. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, uh, you know, to your point, Eric, uh, the deployment versus deployment config, what I think a lot of people don't realize is, you know, OpenShift and Kubernetes have kind of uh, had the same path for a very long time. And OpenShift has had the, the customers behind it saying, we want certain features that Kubernetes doesn't have. And Red Hat being, you know, a good customer service focused organization, we built features on top of Kubernetes and then uh, upstream them as best as we can to make sure that, uh, you know, the, the functionality gets baked into upstream Kubernetes. So a lot of times when you see deployment versus deployment config or projects versus namespaces, same kind of concept, right? Like Red Hat did something before it was probably fully baked in upstream <laughs> Kubernetes and boom, we or, did it. Or it wasn't baked at all or, didn't exist or yeah nothing at all in kubernetes in this case right like with the deployment like deployment's not existing at the time when deployment yeah. config was created by red hat so yeah like that's kind of the scenario and that's why people sometimes i feel like you know they say nah OpenShift is a fork of kubernetes no it's not it we pull in the upstream kubernetes and then we layer our stuff that we built previously that our customers are still using on top of that yeah and, or, or we just donate the whole thing to the community right and we've completely donated a ton a of, of the user and, stuff and some of these yeah. other things yeah christian says uh, yeah. we did it before it was cool and he's totally right he is right. totally right often we do before they were cool sometimes we yes. continue to do things even after they're not cool anymore but you know well you know okay so create a route to the cool application we definitely want that right we like, want the application to be accessible externally yeah so mm -hmm. route is our implementation of kind of ingressy stuff yes all right, right. so i think we're ready here we click the button punch it here we go waiting build uh pending. so this is showing us the developer view if you click build on running build pending look at that what uh what, what happens if you go to the builds area oh, that's where i'm at going to logs getting image source yes Go so it's got to pull go. the builder image, and who knows how long the, or sorry, who knows how big the Python build image is? Can't be that big. Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, really? Jafar says security contexts are now pod security policies in Kubernetes. That's true. That's well, true. Well, they're not. I forgot about. It, it's I mean, not the same not, though. Yeah, PSP it, that, pod security policies is is an separate. evolving thing that kind of right. is like security context constraints. Uh, they're not exactly the same. There, there's still some differences. PSPs are still evolving. 
Um, yeah, but for sure, like Jafar says, there there are features that we have created that uh, make Kubernetes enterprise ready and also added multi tenancy. Well, this thing's going fast. Better. Resume the stream. Get going. Yeah, so uh, Jafar and Christian are both on our team. They're both in the chat right now because uh, chatting is the thing we're doing today. It is also Red Hat Summit time. Uh, OpenShift uh, Commons That's right. Gathering is I wish we had right a banner now. for Red Hat Summit. You could go to the Red Hat Summit website and show people yes. what's going I on. Could. So as, as many of us know, um, there's this pandemic thing going on right yeah, now. Yeah, it's kind of It's, it's kind of a bummer for lots of yeah. people. But because of it, uh, Red Hat Summit has gone completely virtual. And so for those who are interested in, uh, in attending virtually, Ta -da. Eventually, eventually you will see a screen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm it's a very popular event. Now. So it's kind of the website's a little. A little yeah. We've right got now. a lot of people logged in right now. Last I heard. So yes, like it's going on. It starts officially tomorrow. Uh, OpenShift Commons Gathering is taking part right now. So you can. I still think get started with that today. You can register still. It's free, zero dollars. Right, like you can register for free, zero dollars to attend a two-day event packed with content. So that'll be coming out in just wave after wave after wave of new content coming throughout the days. Um, and we also have some other content that will be coming out later in the year as a result of all the content we have and the fact that it's virtual. So many content. There's so much more that you can kind of do when you're in a building for four days as opposed to online for two, right? Like, so, you know, the whole virtual event thing, oh, we got a we're, new we're all figuring that out. So, so yeah. Five oh, following us. I happen to know who oh. that is. That's our, that's a, my buddy, Rob, who is a open shift sales specialist. And Thank you, Rob. I think Appreciate Southeast you. Commercial. If he's in the chat, he can tell me yes. that I'm an idiot or not. And Jafar is asking folks to go to his uh, demo tomorrow. So I will happily open that up for him. Oh, um, assuming this actually well. opens. Eek. Open some window in the background. Uh, no, that's not her. mine. That's I not read. Jafar. What? Okay. Anyway. Make sure you attend. Oh, it's, it's just a live and interactive demo. It's not his live and interactive demo. Oh. Oh, it's going to be Burr, our our master course. Oh, 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 oh. Well, then celebrity. let me pull that back up because I yeah. thought that was the wrong thing or something. That no, that link is me. for the Burr for the Burr Sutter for show. the Burr thing. I mean, I'm sure there's other people involved. Yes, there's always lots of people for the keynote. So we usually yeah. try and do pretty cool keynotes. Yes. There's so yeah, Burr's going to do a live demo tomorrow. Time. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry. We need to make I you have... not use 4K. That's okay. What? No, I like my 4K stuff. Actually, I could just do it on this one monitor, downsize it for you if you really want me to. Uh, yeah, so there's Burr's talk. He'll be doing a demo, uh, you know, from the private data center to the edge. Um, you know, uh, when we say edge in, I think, Red Hat land, uh, it means a lot of different things to other people. But when there's I lots say of, edge... There's lots of edges. So Yeah, when I say edge, I'm talking like customer, right? Like as close to the last mile as possible kind of deal. Perhaps, perhaps, who knows? <laughs> so, I mean, we there's there's probably going to be several presentations about Edge, but you can you can see more uh, in Burrs. But you know, Edge really there there are many edges. There's um, you kind of have if you think about it as like an onion, right? Where the the core of the onion is the data center. Um, there are layers of edge as you move out and further away from the data center. So you've got uh, near edge which is, you know, potentially like a smaller data center, um, you know, far edge might be like a, a couple servers on a, on a telephone pole or, you know, in a store or something like that. And then if you start thinking about Internet of Things and whatnot, then you get to like device edge, which might be, um, True. which know, could be like someone's car or, or yeah, yeah or <laughs> train um, or, you know, just some handheld device that a technician is carrying. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of lots of different edges. But yeah, this so go ahead. It, user context edge i think is sharp edges says, uh, yes there's sharp edges in the peeling of the onion apparently so be careful uh the the onion <laughs> edges will definitely make you cry this is true yes all right back to our app sir uh, we are an hour away from being done here 
All right, so the push was successful. We've got a nice little image in our image registry here. That's This image is actually local on the uh, OpenShift cluster itself that we're using here. Yeah, so, the, so OpenShift uh, automatically includes its own internal image registry. And when you use this build process like we did, um, you will automatically push the image into the registry that's already in OpenShift and it's all pre-configured and it also is tied into the same um, RBAC, but uh, Chris is logged in as a cluster admin. So mm -hmm. really that we, it's that, kind of, it'd be hard for us to show something meaningful. Maybe that's, we'll have to do that for another stream. Yes, there you go. We what might actually like... have to do this more than once. Yes. So uh, you, we saw the logs, right? Like we know exactly what was happening. We have the events here. Uh, we can, you know, do things with these events. For example, if we had an operator, we could, you know, trigger off these events. Um, let's see. Wow, there's, okay, lots of stuff going on here. It, is it running? It, it appears to be running. Okay, can we ask? I got logs. It? I got events. Go Where's find the route? the route. Where be thy route? Topology. Yeah, no, it's opening. This is the route, right? This little button, open URL. Uh, there's a little bit of a lag between your uh, screen and mine, but yes, that is the button. Okay. Where not to live. Oh, fun. Also a tiny font. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to keep killing you on it. No, no, you're going to make me do something, and it's going to be dangerous. Oh, gonna are you going to change your We're going to do it live. Oh, We're doing God. it live. Oh, no. We're doing it live. This, Here we this go. This could be bad. I know it's already kind of going slow. All right, ultra fine. Here's your largest text I got for you, buddy. Oh my gosh, my webcam just shut off and everything. All right, All right. how about that? Uh, no change yet. At least not that I can observe from the. Oh, there it is. Hey, that looks normal. Okay. Go. Cool. Good to know. Uh, I shouldn't say is... normal. That's disparaging to small text. Or people with bad eyesight. I'm not sure which. Yeah. We'll figure that out later. That's true. Um, so yeah, apparently that's fifteen oh four by eight forty six. Yes, guys. Sure yeah, you can make the out. browser yeah. text bigger, but the difficulty is that the default you browser text for every, every single window. new tab is tiny. <laughs> so you end up having to do it over and over and over and over again. But here's the thing. I Much like a job, one... you have to do it every time. All so time. Eric, as as yes. we discovered earlier today in some of our testing and building with scenes and everything, we discovered that uh, Fedora uh, in Wayland, you can have different zoom settings. Maybe. So if you had, maybe you could have different zoom settings. Unconfirmed. So one monitor with 200% zoom at 4K, and you could have another monitor that's like 1080p at 100%. You can't do that very easily on no right now for whatever reason but apparently you can on mac so i'm just going to throw that out here right like i just did that so plus one mac take it all right i live in michigan let's see this application uses public data from fema the u.s federal Admin emergency management agency's api open fema project but is not fema endorsed enter a two-letter state abbreviation i don't know what this is going to tell me but let's see what kind of disasters are going on here Waiting for the FEMA us doing anything. Da, 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 da. It says waiting. Oh, it is waiting. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Dang. List of FEMA disasters in Michigan ranked by county. Which county do I live in? I live in Oakland <laughs> County. <laughs> I can't Oakland remember. County. Oakland County. You are somewhere on this page. Hopefully way down at the bottom of the list. Uh, what if your state is just one giant disaster? It might be. Oh, Oakland County is towards the top. That's why I didn't see it. 13. Uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Wayne County is the county with Detroit in it. So it has two more than Oakland County, which is where oh, I live. We got a new follower, Serena Marie. Thank you. Hey, Serena. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you following us. So yeah, we've deployed one app. Yes. And we, we made a matter of work. no time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. yeah, there was. No issues, no problems there. Yeah, and I mean it's 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 cheesy, right? But when you when you sort of step back and think about what we just did, and I, I sort of use this example all the time, uh, we clicked three buttons, mm -hmm. and there is now an application running and accessible on the internet. 
Uh, and for you had already made the font bigger on that tab, which is why mm-hmm. it's, it's completely yeah, bananas. <laughs> uh, there we go. And, yeah, woo, fix it. And so yeah, like t- two three button clicks, we we got something live on the internet, and yeah. some companies that takes like six months. Yeah. <laughs> to get it yeah. accessible and deployed on the internet. Now, granted, there you know somebody might have to let you expose something on the internet, but right, there is more that. or less, but, we just did it live. But from the from the developer view, you see we have you know our deployment config right here, this DC label of the FEMA web. Uh, we can go edit our source code and click that, and off we go to GitHub. We can come back. We see our route. That's how we access our application, and then we see the the actual like running status, which is where we saw. The, the build and log and event details. Um, and, you know, that that's our whole application wrapped up and deployed. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. You want to do another one? Um, we can we can try Ask Gaben and see if it'll actually work. Okay. Let's, let's see. Because this browser is so big, I now know, don't know where the damn tab went. So, uh, how's Gaben? Don't you again? have that cool tab search feature that you turned on I, the other day? I, I do. Well, no, it's not tab search, is it? It's, it's like tab. It's tab search. No, it's not. It's it's open if already existing tab, right? Like that's what I was looking for the other day. You know, because you know how like yeah, I search, search in existing tabs. Yeah, there you go. That's what it's called. That thing. Yeah, it's Anyways. like a feature of Chrome that you have to. But you have turn to turn on it on. It's buried in the bowels of. Uh, very much in the bowels. What this is a. A real, what view of GitHub is so, this? Oh, so this uh, over on the left-hand side of my screen is, is called like Octotree. Some browser plugin? The, yes, this is an actual GitHub plugin That's that cool. shows you like the actual directory structure. Yeah, so it's like of, Nerdtree, but for GitHub, but for your right. browser. And and if you notice, it looks surprisingly like well, VS's code, VS codes, you know, little Nerdtree thingy. So yeah. it just makes a more consistent experience for me personally so that's why i use it it's um free but it has some paid features if you want it's called octotree Octo get it at i think octotree.com oh there's my github access token i'll change that later um octotree i might have to put that in the chat here Octo yes tree. octotree I'm looking at my other screen. Octotree is loaded with features that bring your productivity on GitHub to the next level. I'm sure they do. Mm-hmm. All right. So Octotree. I will take this URL. There it is. All right. Take this URL. We will. You want to do another in the same project or not? Uh, yeah, your, let's do it in the same call, project. Man. Let's do it in the same project. Make, make more tenants, make less tenants. Multi-tenant, all the tenants. All the tenants. Import from Git. So many tenants. All the tenants. This is also Python, correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. We will not call it FEMA Web App. We will create an application. Application name is Barfgobin, whatever it's called. <laughs> Osgibbon. And then you'd call it Barf? I could call it barf. You could also call it like Pizza it. the Hut. I will call it Pizza the Hut. Schwartz. The Schwartz is with you, sir. Yes. Who was it that was supposed to watch that movie again this weekend? This weekend? Yeah, someone mentioned that they didn't. Like, we shared a GIF of the, the aliens mocking scene from uh, Spaceballs, and someone was like, what is that movie aliens from? Mocking scene? Yeah, remember in Spaceballs, at the end, towards the end, they're in the cafe, and they're eating, they're ordering something, and some guy eats something, and like all of a sudden, he starts grabbing his chest, and da 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 Yeah, yeah, like I'll have alien thing having... pops out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, check, please, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. I didn't, mm-hmm. I, 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 I guess I wasn't paying attention. That was Andrew. Oh, apparently Andrew on our team. Andrew was the one that didn't see it, or or Andrew was the it. one that didn't recognize where the scene was Got from, it. and apparently... From my description, you don't either. So, <laughs> but at least you know Pizza the Hut. If I had seen the picture, I might. Yes, yeah, a picture. Maybe is worth that would have been better words, context. Supposedly. Yes, exactly. That's what I hear. All right, so this is your app running along here. Oh, it's trying to build the Docker file. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That might not work so good. Oh, let's see what it's doing. It's getting all the requirements. It hasn't exploded, yeah, which is what it did when I tried to build it locally. Falling. 
you should consider upgrading pip well, you know, that's okay copying blobs it's using some signatures weird, it's using some weird upstream probably yeah. debian based uh uh python image well it's building images so it is, it is not only building them it is pushing them push successful hey it's the little things all right so if it works it's not really going to do a whole lot because you got to push a csv file into it to actually load content okay. but it'll at least it, when you visit it it will at least uh it'll show you show something. you like hey click here to get a user but then it'll probably explode not ready wait is this bouncing it's booting or it's just crashing i mean there's there's lots of options there's that too wow god can i move this freaking thing <laughs> you're so passionate hide about hide floating meeting controls press escape to show floating meeting controls thank you oh the the yes the zoom stuff controls. i can't stand still it. not doing its thing maybe the What's image is still here? pulling Crash loop back off. Uh, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Probably because it's expecting to run as a running application from Python script app.py. That's the error we get. That's it? That's it. It's not exciting. No, it's not. All right. That's okay. That's pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's because it was doing a docker build but or a container build but oh okay i'm not right, so that didn't work it. does it use right. a web container or is it just a command line app it uses uh Goon gunicorn gunicorn oh really yeah really hmm. ah, okay the one that's on quay works i don't know the one that's on quay works or what's the quay thing uh quay.io slash Thorax is it under your escaping? your namespace? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Just go to a terminal and do pip install. Psst, could do that. All right, where is your there to be? There it is. That's the one. The repo should have a. Uh well the the um the Ascaping repo does have a requirements dot text but for whatever it does reason, yeah it built them I saw it go no, through but it, them it, well because it built the Docker file that it found it didn't do a source build for whatever reason oh. um hmm. well we could try what again doing here I need to stream manager there we go that's what I want Red Hat OpenShift I pasted in the chat. Yeah, so I don't know why it did a. Hmm. So it did a. Well, I know why it did a Docker file build because that's what it found when you did the um, from Git. Because I don't. But you chose Python, didn't you? Yeah, I chose Python. What does the build config look like? Oh, hang on. Let me go back. Yeah, it's definitely not going to work. <laughs> yeah. The build config. Yeah. Uh, what happens if you click the little Git logo in the topology view? Wait, I'm way ahead of you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Screen takes Apparently. a little bit. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> oh, you need a cough button. <laughs> yeah, I think I probably could. Have... There's a mute button. La, 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 la. All right, do you see the build, build config that. details page? Yeah, let's see. Okay. Git repository, type source. I don't know why I did it container build it's weird here hmm. okay hmm. okay hmm. do you want to try your image or not you can okay okay application Oh, Jaf Jafar says do a do a hack and get rid of the Docker file. Oh, really? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, okay. So what's going on here? 
can't create. Because you already have something called barf. Do I? Damn Didn't it. you? No. Whatever. We'll call it. Uh, let's call it. Just name it Max. That's like my kid's name. And still doesn't work. Uh, image name. So wait, wait, wait. To deploy an image from a private. It's not private. No, it's totally public. Yeah. Uh, hit the hit the search icon. Yeah. Did it do anything? There we go. Nope, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so um, it All needed right, to interrogate. Yeah, if you don't hit the search yeah. button, it doesn't interrogate the image from the registry. Right. So it doesn't know how to expose the resulting image. Cool. So Serena says that config. validates the image. Yes, it does. Sweet. Oh, sorry. Thank See, you. if only I would pay attention to the chat. Ta da. All right, let's create. See what happens. <clears throat> Here's Max. Yes, Serena says it also provides a bunch of defaults. And so it interrogates the image and it finds things like the port that gets exposed and all kinds of other stuff. And so then it knows what to do. I'd be curious to see the log of the busted one again at some point. Sure, I can leave this cluster here for you. Well, I don't care. You don't have to leave the cluster for me. Well, I can give you the login details right now if you want. Oh, that's boring. This is boring? No, it's boring what? if you give me the login details. We're supposed to do it live. Got troubleshoot oh, that's it. right. Never mind. Hang on. You're Just defeating the, the purpose of the, of the I'm picture. sorry. I thought you meant later. Like, well, no. Well, 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 I mean, maybe. Later, later. Yeah. Before 245 later. Yes. There we go. It says booter working with PID9. It's, it's running. running, though. It's not dead. It's not crash looping. It's so you should be able not to access restarting. It. All right. Let's rock and roll. All right. There's the route. Need a user workshop? Click here. I don't know what yet. Internal that's server. That's what I figured because there's no yeah. database. Right. But you can go look at the logs now. We can be like good, uh, good developer. Why, SRE why did it app, fail? App, yes. app operations. That's a tongue twister. Oh my gosh. This is what quite is the error message. Um, uh, probably error yes. exception in get user. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be a, there you go. No such table. That's because yep. uh, we have not uploaded a CSV file in there. Is there a sample CSV in the repo? Uh, let's go see. There is remember. not. There is a sample format for the csv file but i mean we don't have to go through the exercise of all this fun stuff of github tab opens uh you said there was a so like how would i load this if you scroll down and read the rest of the instructions oh shut up <laughs> <laughs> so this url is going to work no it's not so you have to replace this with the rest yes. well okay. first you need to create a csv file with the following format and then um, and curl can... that into the route. Exactly. Got it. All right. So it's going to use make sure it's live stream. Do it live. Yep. This isn't particularly open shifty, this part, but. Well, I mean, we got I mean, to sort some of it, I guess, because right? we're going to use the route to. Oh, I hit escape and that damn thing, thing reappeared. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. What you do? I hit escape and the uh, the controls reappeared because I'm in Vim. Uh, yeah. Not a not a power Vim user, huh? And I also named that file wrong, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> did, you, did you even name the file? Oh. Yes. It actually. So this will be an interesting text uh, test of the app. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It may, okay. It may complain to you. I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right, Adam. I think it's about to. Yeah. No. Well, working. let's let's see. At user data. So barf.tx. No. I think the code actually checks for the file extension and not the file format. Not the actual format. That would yeah. make sense. App.py. And then the the URL is over. Get the, at the code out of here. here. I can't stand these controls. Where did you hide the? There. All right. Code CSV <clears throat> data. No file. Oh, no where's the route? This is the route, right? Yeah, this file. guy. I have 
add some kind of a loud file thing. Loud, uh, loud extension CSV. Yeah, we're gonna get an error okay. of the curl. Okay, so I need to fix this. Uh, the, pretty, yeah, the port pretty... number's wrong. Man, that's all wrong. God, I need to up. Some somebody needs to update the documentation because that's not Damn. good. Well, actually, no. Well, hold on. So you don't need the port number because you're not developing locally. Um, mm. Oh, you don't want to see the error? Fine. Well, do you want to see the error? I, no, I mean, I, it's, I, fine. I, 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 yeah, it's fine. Well, it helps it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Jesus, get at it. Not overwritten. What? What? <sighs> no, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh Why? gosh! Correct. Do a LSL. No. Like, what, what, what's going on it. here? Don't. Now it's fixed. No, I have some extension that's like, are you sure? When I do <laughs> things like renames. Oh you... <laughs> no! Don't. <laughs> Just that to make sure drive... you don't break anything. I don't know. That would drive me bananas. Well, it's starting to drive you bananas. Um. Yeah. All right. So now what? Need to do this uh, curl thing. The... <laughs> so Adam's paying more attention than we are. Cat the file real quick. Okay, he thought they looked like the the line numbers had gotten into the file, but they apparently they did not. So I think we're safe. Mm, no, we're good. Okay. Uh, so we need to curl the barf duck. <laughs> Christian is Christian is barfing at your use of Z shell. Really? What? I thought he liked Z shell. He might. I thought he did. I don't know. Wouldn't he the one that turned me on yeah. to it? So this URL is what? This That's is the, the route. route URL. And then I just need the path, right? Yeah, load CSV okay. data because the port. Um... Yeah, is not relevant. Yeah. All right, so slash load un load underscore CSV underscore data. That's it, right? Uh, yeah, we'll find out if it's not. Okay, well, here goes nothing, buddy. File hey, look uploaded. at that. Wow, okay. So now if you get so, a user. Let's refresh this real quick just to make sure it's still online. And click here and get a user. Hey, user one. Password. Functional Python application. Look at that. Ta-da. It's the second one of the day. Wow. Dude, we, we, deployed, two two we deployed two apps to production. Technically, and, only one of them was from source code, but two apps of right. in like less than 48 minutes. Well, that's what I was thinking, right? Like we could have gone a little bit harder if we wanted to with like a full Django kind of deal. But, you know, maybe next time. We, I wanna, let's see who this is. We got a new, um, a new yeah. viewer here. If I was asked if I was sure all the time and i, I answer truthfully nothing would ever get done this that's is, true this is very that true. is very true <laughs> yeah all right so two python apps we two have python some, apps. two python apps we have some time left oh hey mike that's a friend of mine from a million years ago we went to high school together still oh, keep fun. in touch cool see look apparently your um, twitter thing is uh, more did you want to try to get Django to work? I mean, in 30 minutes. Hey, man. We, this is, this is, can we do you it? can race him. Jesus. All right. The question is, do we have an app in mind? I thought you want to do Django. That is an app. Like just, just Django? Like just by itself? D right? like, sure. I don't know. It's your show. I don't know. Does it work by itself? Well, it needs like a database and stuff. Right. Like that's what I mean. Like Check, check if it's app. already in Operator Hub. Oh, good question. Like in the OpenShift user interface, yeah, yeah, yeah. Django Unchained. That this is definitely not that kind of stream. Not, no, not that stream. Developer. No. What? Why did you switch what? to administrator? Because I thought. You, well, because I'm used to going to Operator Hub under developer, or under administrator. I mean, but where do you go Add. to? Should really? Just, we should just be able to see stuff. Add. Uh, from catalog. catalog. Yeah. There we go. All right. I mean, technically, I think this now this looks familiar. Too. D J. What happens? Django and Postgres. Wow. I th I don't think that's an operator though. I think it's just a instantiate yeah, template. It's, it's yeah, a source yeah, yeah. to image build of the existing. Uh... Okay. Well, we're gonna deploy it anyway. We're gonna deploy it anyway. So the cool yeah. thing that that 
we do, we meaning uh, Red Hat, uh, a lot of these sort of existing common frameworks. I think there's like a Ruby Rails one as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've already got sample one. repositories for those. And so when you do the build, it builds right out of the sample repo. Um, can you go to the repo for this one? What's, what's actually in it? What is the repo? Oh, if you see. click. There we go. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Doop, 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 doop. Ta da! Django example. Open shift for Django. How many years ago was <laughs> the last commit to this? Oh, thing. shit. I'm sorry. Language. 14 days ago. Give me a break. 14 days. Okay, that's recently. Yeah. <laughs> it's just some files were created. This is a minimal Django possible. project. I thought Django was like WordPressy. It's like a. CMS, no, Django, it? Django is like the framework you build a WordPressy thing on. Oh, is it just an MVC framework by itself? Uh, I guess I don't. Maybe, yeah. I mean, it's super I powerful. It was like a, I, I know Ansible Tower is built on Django, right? So I thought it was a like its own CMS, but I guess it's a framework. Mm -hmm. Makes it so, easier yeah. to build and better web apps more quickly and with less code. It is a Python web framework. There you go. Mm -hmm. Reassuringly secure. I, I'm not sure that that definition or description by itself is reassuring in and of itself. But anyway, we're not we're not here to pick on web frameworks. We're here to no. Uh, I'm just looking. Is Ausgaben listening on port 80? No. Internally, it listens on 8,000, and that gets uh, routed to 80. Sorry, 80 gets yes, routed. The to route. 8, yeah, yeah, the route fixes all sins. So yeah. I wouldn't say all. Well, most. <laughs> Come Something. on, what is what is my Eric Jacobsism? OpenShift uh, does not fix your bad application architecture. Right. I mean, there were so many there I could choose from, right? So like many open... Jacobsisms oh, or so many oh, bad oh, application oh. architecture? No, 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 no. OpenShift <laughs> doesn't solve your political problems. OpenShift doesn't no, 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 solve no, 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 your no, no, cultural no. issues. Technology you know? <laughs> doesn't solve political problems. That's right. Technology does not solve political problems. Correct. Yes. All right. Let's build this thing. Okay. Well, this is kind of cheating, though, because you're you're using an existing it's, example. Well, but that's why we buy or use uh, OpenShift, right? That's why we like, use enterprise this software. is the shortcut, right? I don't know. Maybe, could be. Yeah, build versus buy. That's why you buy, because there's stuff ready for you to build on top of already. Status not ready. But Jafar, the app was so the the problem with the crash loop had nothing to do with the port it doesn't doesn't detect that uh that that problem is different um yeah the route the second yeah. one where we deployed it from the image it was working so yeah what's going on here oh so this uses a template mm -hmm. uh and so for those who are uh kubernetes familiar uh openshift templates are kind of like helm charts um I've never actually looked. Can you believe I've never looked at a Helm chart? Like I still haven't even touched one. Do they do they support parameters like templates do? I would assume so. I don't know. I haven't touched one either. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we are we are. Yeah, but that's no, the point. Yeah, of this, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, four three doesn't have Helm though yet, right? That's not until four four. Four four. Uh, it's tech preview in four three, I think. Can, but, oh, yeah. but I don't. Th you have to like pull levers to get it to work, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure. Uh, let's see, status not ready. Why would that? Let's see. I stopped paying attention. What are you doing? I'm looking for pods or whatever the fuck's going on here. Sorry, language. My bad. Topology. There we go. There should be. Where is there Django? There's, Django There's that. Games. There's Django. It says it's running. It just started running, yeah. There you Not go. Until 4.4 in the UI, Helm charts will be available in the developer catalog in Form 4. Yeah, Helm V3. Right. Thanks, Serena. Yeah. Hey, look, Django is working. Hey. Success. And it, this actual application uh, installation as an OpenShift thing gives you all the instructions on how to work with this as is. So yeah. you could start building on top of it. So right if you, can you scroll deploy. down so we can see the request sure. information? Uh, yeah, so if you hit refresh, you'll see the page views goes up. Woohoo! Yeah, and so um, 
that server hostname information, can you go to the terminal in the um, in the app itself in the yeah. web console? Yeah. yeah. Well, if I go to the Django pod in the console and then go to the terminal, mm-hmm. please. More, please. So yeah, another super cool thing about the OpenShift web console is that uh, we give you this terminal so you can actually, it's almost like a shell, uh, so you can execute. Hey, we got, thanks for following us, Adam. Um, so in the shell, if you do env uh, and pipe that into sort, we should see, there you go, Django PGSQL persistent port. That doesn't look like a port, that's a whole string, but whatever. But yeah, all the all the connection information is being um, shot into this container as environment variables, uh, and then the application code for Django is written slash configured such that it is looking for the value of the environment variable when it tries to connect to the database. So now it's we can externalize our configuration as code. Uh, Look at all the variables. So many that. variables. E too many variables. Yeah. <laughs> buffer full. Buffer, buffer overrun. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. so now we got what? Django. Yeah. Go go. Can we look at the log for my busted code? Yeah. Let's go look I mean, at your busted it's code. It's not my code that's busted. It's the. It's the the, 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 the way it picked busted. it up. I bet Where... it's because it's trying to run as a specific user, and we don't have any UID, and so it's. This probably, is it, right? Yeah, crash back off. It's probably loop. barfing. You want to see the logs? Yes, please. Oh, it says it's running. Not that is like pod. the most useless log file. Mm-hmm. Environment. Nothing what, in the environment. What are the events on that one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 90 times. Yeah. Weird. If only the developer put that. There's a D. There there used to be a way to debug. Uh, I don't think it matters. If it had built it from source, it might have worked better. Whatever. The YAML file that might look obvious to you here. No, it's not that. I mean, it built it built the image, and then it yeah. tried to run the image, and then it claims that the image is crashing. But unfortunately, Gunicorn is not uh, spitting out enough information. So. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So. It's all right. It's user error, but you're not the user in this case. I am. Well, it's, yes and no. Broken it. You done broken it, but I done broken it. Well, too. it's 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 got to be Python. It's just not being verbose enough when it it's probably just exiting i've always pronounced it goo corn i mean it, it looks like it's supposed to be unicorn so but yeah. there's no n to be silent so it's not like gnoon gnoonicorn it could be gunicorn gunicorn i don't know yeah, I'm gonna go, it, now i have to look it up yeah gunicorn <laughs> what does the internet say the Gunicorn Green Unicorn is a Python web server. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Pronunciation. Mm, does not say. Oh, pronounced G Unicorn. Well, all of G us. G Unicorn. Well, we're all dumb. Is that like <laughs> is that like G Willikers? G Unicorn. G. Look at that unicorn. We are, we are all in the wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd probably have to add some more stuff. To make it log more better, make it but it should have built from source, and I don't know why it didn't. So that's yeah, I don't either. Can you look at the build config for it? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Wherever you may be, where where did you go? Build config, build config, build config. Uh, what you clicked into build? Uh, like you, I'm seeing. Oh, I'm on the, the pod way. still. Sorry, yeah. my bad. I thought you had clicked into build. Let me go back to the top. We can click in builds. I did click in builds. But then you clicked in a pod. You want the build config. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm going. What do you want to see? Um, the YAML. Does it say anything about anything? Mm. 
builds to output Ascape and type source from Python 3.6. Creating webhooks. Oh, shit, I hit the back button. My bad. Language. No swearing. Um, it says source. Why did it do a... That's source strategy from Python 3.6. So it identified Python. Well, we told it Python. And then what was it? Can you go to look at the build logs? Build I guess click board. builds, the yeah. builds tab. And then there should be the first build. Unless I just misread the build log. Getting image signatures from user root, copy, upload, source. Oh, never mind. I just read this stupid. I read the log wrong. My bad. What? Okay. Scroll scroll down. So th I think I know what the issue is. Um, User 1001. Yeah, okay. No, it's, it's doing the right thing. So it ran... It did install the requirements. Yeah, Jinja, JSON, Flask, all that stuff. Okay, I see what's going on here. Um, so the issue is that this is a Flask app that needs to be run in a particular way. And so my guess is that when the container starts, it just immediately exits because it doesn't know. It doesn't have all the stuff. Yeah, so um, yeah. Go, go scroll up to the very beginning um mm -hmm. where does it say that it got the image from like we need to look at the s2i I'm... run script oh. no that's where it got the code from we need to find oh the oh, image. oh the s2i docker build image this guy that one uh, yeah but that just says it's not very helpful run S2i not that you're not helpful to that i'm never helpful. helpful you don't have to tell me that uh, click on brr, builds again, or there, like, can you find the image stream? Can I find the image stream? Yeah, click on overview. Sorry, uh, in the build, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then scroll down. And build from this guy. Uh, yeah, that's not helpful though. Yeah, I guess we just need to find it on GitHub. Let me see if I can dig it up. Oh, I want to I want to find the run script for. Uh, we may need to put a run, an S2I run script in our repo here. Um, okay. Open Shift Python. I'm looking on my own. Open FEMA. GitHub Open Shift REST Client Python. No. Source to image using images. So many tabs. This is... Yeah, we're gonna need to. Go, oh, go look at the Adams repo. The one that we built earlier, the FEMA web one, because there's an yeah, S yeah. he's got an S2I folder in there. OpenShift 3 Python 3.3. All it says is app config config.py. And his mm, .s2i. And then look in, oh, that's the environment. Look in FEMA web, like the, the root level, top level folder. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Adam's still watching. Uh, and he's got config.py or app.py. Sorry, I was I was like half paying attention to the thing you just showed. I was half paying attention too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> config. It was app config okay, config app py. Config so that's why we were okay, confused. So now if we look at, <laughs> I keep bumping my desk and shaking my monitor. So if we look at config.py. <laughs> oh, navigation is available. That's great. Okay. Gunicorn processes threads. Yeah. G unicorn. Right. Sorry, it's unicorn. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we just don't know how to use Python S two I as a problem here. Um, so we, you may even help to set these environment variables. App file. The variable specifies the file name passed to the Python interpreter, which is responsible for launching the application. And this variable is set to app.py by default. But um, workers forward secure. Hmm. Sure. Well, but I have app. says he's finding an example. Yeah. Class config secret key workers threads forwarded secure. Is that is there anything else in the top level of this repo? FEMA web. Let me take a look at it myself. I just unplugged my headphones and they went. 
crazy. Sorry, I didn't hear anything you just said for the past That's 30 right. seconds. I wasn't, I wasn't saying anything useful. I'm looking for the source code repo for this. For this? App. Yeah, what's the... No, 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 for... Yeah, you forked it. What was the parent? Uh, it's a clater. That's weird. That's why I searched for. Um, application. Uh, ah, okay. I see what. No, but that. That's weird. Sorry, I'm looking at the Python source to image docs. Um, app config. This variable indicates the path to a valid file with a unicorn configuration. G unicorn configuration. My bad. Yeah, so we might need to. Check out this example. Remove everything in the if v and put your command. Okay, let's see what your we'll figure out what your command is, and I will yeah. But like Adam's using G Unicorn, I think we're just missing the config. So if you if you copy his if you copy the config.py from a clater from the female web example. Just the, the whole S2I directory? Um, yeah, so the S2I directory and then config.py. Mm -hmm. I would be curious to see if that makes it work. Because basically it's just it, it doesn't know how to load our app is what it looks like it is right, happening. Right, right. Just... From Flask import Flask, from application import application. Right, but we're not doing that because it's all in there. Name main where goofy app zero zero port. Oh, we shouldn't call it goofy. Osberger as as begin whatever it is. There it is. <laughs> You're never gonna figure out the name of this thing, are you? No, I'm never. What's funny is I have like a Dutch German background, and I can't say German words to save my life. <laughs> So you want me to copy uh, femaweb. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Because I don't, I don't have like a traditional. No, you don't. So this is yeah. App flash name. Config. If name equals main. Get status. Yeah, I'm going to paste something in the chat for you, Chris. Okay. That's the S2I Python docs. And so I think we need to configure something here. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? S2I Python docs. Let's see. There's an example setup test app available. Oh, look at that. Pull this tab over I don't here. understand what this is doing. All right, app file. This variable specifies the file name passed to the Python interpreter, which is responsible for launching the application. Right, but app py is the default, which we're, which is what we're doing. Is. It is app dot py. We, app config. Right, but we don't need that because I'm using default unicorn. Okay. Well, maybe it would help. What, what does this default configuration look like? Well, you can look at the one in Adam's repo, in the FEMA web repo. Okay. His config.py, which just sets some um, stuff. Yeah. And then I, there's a way, I think part of the issue, well, uh, if you look at his app, is it logging anything interesting? Let's see. Is it logging at all? Because I think the issue with mine may be that G Unicorn is not sending any interesting logs to standard out. Fifteen minute warning. Oh yeah, it's putting connection strings and stuff in here. Like who's connected to who Yeah, that running that. application from Python script app.py. This is a development server. It's 
What? That's like not using Junicorn. So Jafar weird. says you could try with an S2I bin assemble script where you override the default. Uh, well, the issue's not assemble. The issue's run. Run. Yeah. So. But like, do you, do you both... want to commit the? Let me commit these changes that I made and yeah. watch it break again at least. How about Exciting. that? <laughs> Go back over here. Os yeah. So how would how would I refire the build? Uh, start build. <laughs> like start click start build again. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> but is it correctly installing the dependencies? Yes, it is. We determined that it was installing the dependencies. Yeah, it was doing that uh, before. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Emote only chat. That that would be weird. I'm looking at random options here in the uh, in the stream. Building, building, building. Sorry, I got to change my thingy. All right. What are you changing? I uh, just got to see how my screens are arranged because it's throwing me off. <laughs> Sorry. It's, All right. I'm still building. It is building. It is doing the things. It is installing its dependencies. And the stuff. And Fine. very quickly. going. Does it install G-Unicorn? I'm just curious. Uh, it should be like one of the first yeah, things, I right? I thought okay. I saw it downloading G-Unicorn somewhere in there. Collecting G-Unicorn. There you go. There you go. Destroying images. Making progress. There's more lines of log, I feel like, this time. This is the build log, not the app, not the app log. Oh, well, that'll do it. Push successful. So now it should try to roll out number two. <laughs> in the uh, topology or in the pods or whatever. Crash, back off, crash loop, back off. So, Do we get so. any more information this time? Nope. Service port 8080, I wonder, no, that shouldn't make a difference. Yeah, you can't get a terminal because um, so oh wait! Running. Oh, never mind. What? I saw it green for a second. Oh. I saw it green for like half a second, and it went red again. <laughs> so excited! <laughs> I got it's excited. Ah! No, it's not working. Forgot it's a container. It'll die soon. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Um, no, that shouldn't matter. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah, I wish there was more logs. It's yeah. Frustrating. I, I want to find the um, OpenShift Python like. Build. Oh, I think Jafar had shared it. Yeah, he shared DevOps the workshop. I have no, right that's here. not the one that I want. This I one? want to find the actual. No, no, no. The actual Python source. S2I source to image. This is for OpenShift 3. Let's go to 4. Oh, yeah. 2. OpenShift Enterprise. 3.0. Jeez. Yeah, so this is not the right thing. I don't even think it. Uh, do we have S2I in here? Yeah, I mean, we do. It's under... Where? Uh, look under change? builds, and then... Yeah. Uh, I don't know that we have, like, specific Python-y... Using build strategy. Applications? S2I build. Where'd you find that? Oh, build strategies? Yeah, build strategies. I'm hoping it takes me someplace, maybe. Securing builds by strategy. Using build Performing strategies. Performing source to image incremental builds. Both reading, reading the same documentation together. Yeah, let's see. Python. Nope. 
Understanding build configurations. No. Yeah, I'm just going to look on GitHub myself. Open shift. Oops, thank open you. Open shift Python. Sample Python. Open shift REST client Python. SCO org. S2I Python container. I think that's the one that I want. Yes. And we're using 3.6, yeah? We are using... No, no we're not using 3.6. Jack. We're using 4.2. Or Python 3.6. Sorry. Yes. Um, S2I bin run. Um, S2I yeah. bin. So if you look at the run script... Function is going to current installed, which it should be. Django's not installed, should migrate, get the default web concurrency. Maybe run in an init wrapper. <laughs> Maybe. God. Oh man. App home. Okay. Python path. Sure. CD app home. App script check. App script equals blah. App. Okay. We don't have an sh script. Running application from script, which it does. If, it does. If app script is slash, then app script equals dot slash. Maybe run in a knit wrapper. What is the maybe run in a knit wrapper uh, function do? It's up higher. Yeah, I know. I'm finding it. Enable init wrapper, then exec da 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 sti scripts init wrapper. sti scripts init wrapper. Okay, so now go to the init wrapper script on the left column, please. Please. It's opening. Oh. Um. Okay. Well. What? <laughs> Just waits for a bid. I don't even understand what this. Does. It's looking for a kill signal, and if it doesn't find one, it assumes it's good. Okay, so go back to the run script. <laughs> if I'm reading this right, I yeah, think. Yeah, <laughs> this is like really smart people made this, and we are not yes, smart enough. Yes, I'm not understand. this smart. <laughs> not smart enough. Yeah. Scroll down, I, more, more, more. I haven't sacrificed enough whatevers to make myself this smart. Manage, look for a manage PY. Okay. If should migrate, no. If is Unicorn installed, which it is, set up which Pi. It is. Find home max F2 setup. We don't have a setup Pi. Look for a whiskey model. I just got my uh, warning there we go. to join. Unicorn oh. app module bind 8080 Where? access log file equals dash config. Oh. App config. App config. You may find. And you app. added an app config. That's the only place. Okay. So, yes, I did. Assuming it pulled that, which. But it never gets to that, right? If you if you go to the app log. <sighs> the the build log, you mean? No, the app log. Um, of the uh, crashing pod. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, you got five minutes. It just says running from Python script app.py. Yeah, okay. So if you go back to um, the code. Which code? Your the code? run script code. God damn it. I lost that tab. Oh, no. <laughs> this wow. guy. There. So if you scroll up. We're pro like I probably don't have my Flask app written correctly is the issue. Mm -hmm. um, so we could potentially just override the um, run script and do something hacky if you want to try that in the last two minutes or whatever. Well, what do you got for me? If you look at um, in the Ausgaben repo, in the Docker file, the command line. Yeah. If you just put that command line as the only line in run in the S2I folder. Put this, whoa. 
Well, but not not the this? not the command. Yeah, but just the G unicorn access log file dash. Just put spaces yeah. between everything in there. Right, right, right. And you want that where? In the run directory? It, you need to create a, a file called run in the S2I folder or whatever, STI. I don't remember what folder it is. Dot S. Dash A. Dot S2I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C. Dot S2I. And you said a run file? You, you'll need to create a file called run, yes. Want this without all the dashes and shit. We, hey, I need a space between all the things. Yeah. This might work. Might just. Really? I don't know. We're going to find out. I don't know. In two minutes or one minute. Hopefully. 56 Hopefully. seconds. All right. So you want that there? No. It's worth a shot. Okay. Quit. All right. So. Get status. What do you got for me? Get add. Hacking with Python. That's exactly the command you're asking for. Sorry, Jafar. Yeah. Uh, Jafar's joining us all the way from France. It is way past his bedtime. Yeah, Jafar is always up past his bedtime. Actually, what what time is it there? 8 p.m.? Alexa, what time is it in Paris? In Paris, it's 8.43 p.m. 8.43. There you go. Thanks, Alexa. Yeah. All right. If this is playing through your speakers, I could ask Alexa for things. You could, but it's not. It's playing through my head. Uh, tried it locally right. and it works. You tried asking Alexa what time it is in Paris, Jafar? <laughs> no, he tried G Unicorn locally. Build number three is running. Here we go. Oh, wait. S2I bin run? We just called Wait, it what? S2I run. We may have we may have made a terrible oh, horrible shit. error. Did we? Oh, Language. Okay. Uh, we have not yet turned it... on the mature flag. Nope, it's been run. Uh, we're, Is it been run? Okay. We might be screwed. <sighs> it's okay. Move run to bin. But you're, you're out of time. You're going to be Get late. Add, I know. It's like the coffee mad hatter thing. It, oh yeah, very very late, very late for an important date. With mm. get status, make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, get pushed. Well, okay. while you're doing that, oh, I can't do that because I'm signed into Twitch as OpenShift. I was gonna set my personal channel to uh, mature audiences so that I can go hack on actually hacking mm -hmm. on OBS and then swear while I do it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try this one more time. Are you really? Yeah, why not? We have two I, concurrently I, running builds. I wonder. Yes, I don't know which one's going to win. <laughs> you can race him. We did it. Um, <laughs> pretty sure that number three is going to finish, and then number four is going to finish, and then number four will get deployed after number three is crashing. Yes, that's what I am joining do. this it's thing in another window while we're doing this thing. Uh, you're showing us what you're doing. Am I? Don't I? Know if that's uh acceptable no i'm not there you go. by the way twitch says that we have completed not one not two but five achievements i don't even know oh really are, that's good no that's a good it. thing because there's partners and uh other things and we need all the things we need all the things we're... so many we need twitch all the things. things yes so many twitching things <laughs> twitching things <laughs> oh gosh it's me without my muscle spasm medicine <laughs> oh. oh you poor thing oh man oh my god uh let's see what am i doing i am in you're waiting for this build to complete oh yeah. you're doing something in a different screen that's what you're doing yeah so i'm actually trying to join the chat i'm supposed to be in for open shift commons gathering uh what does it oh, say that's on fine. monday log into and try oh what nobody worries about that no, but like I'm supposed to help. There was only 17 people signed up last they checked. 17 people like, total for OpenShift Commons? Total. No, 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 no. To help oh, with to the chat. help. When there was 8,000 people this morning earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they need all the help they can get is what I'm hearing. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, Ausgaven also means to spend? I didn't know that. I, I knew that we had figured out. Christian was actually there for the naming of, uh, for the donning of the Ausgaven name. But um, all right. So yeah. how do we get? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't. I didn't do what I was supposed to do a long time ago. 
<laughs> Which that was, could be any number of things. I didn't drag. <laughs> I didn't drag the handle on the zoom window <laughs> to make the 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 screen bigger and the webcam smaller because I'm a dodo and I just did that now that we have negative time left in the stream. Good job. That's okay. I'm I'm happy. I that will that, remember well, that. here's the thing. I I I did a stream Saturday night just to test streaming and everything here mm-hmm. at the house, and I ran half the stream without audio. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I mean, we you know. we is we is all learning. Well, I have this. I have the the mixer box over here that has its on off button, and I forgot to turn it back on after taking a break. So yeah, it's because you have too much fancy stuff. Here. That's true. I do. Too many. This might actually be there. running. Holy it, smokes! It's running. Boogers! Look at that. All we had to do was completely re-engineer stupidity back into the application. <laughs> I have I have outsmarted. Hey, what what was my tweet the Dude. other day? I don't I don't fix things. I just break them and then break uh, them and make yeah. engineers second guess their decisions. <laughs> Such uh, a good tweet. <laughs> did, it work? did it work? Did it work? No, it didn't. It's not what? happy? Is it not running? If, is it, well, it's oh, it's running right. on the wrong port. <laughs> oh, do we need to change ports? So yeah, we can do one of two things. You can either change the service definition, or right. you can change the run script. Because well, it's run running, script. it's listening on port eight thousand. It's probably easier to. Oh, edit the is that what it is? Okay. No, just edit the service. Let's show the power of the OpenShift sure? web console. Okay. Yes, okay. I'm sure. Fine, fine, fine. We are going to show OpenShift. Darn it! Whether we like it or not. Uh, Can you do this without? Edit... Oh, edit pod selector. Yeah, try that. Edit, edit pod selector. The first selector. one on the list. Oh damn. No, that's not right. Okay, try that. <laughs> edit, actually, service. edit service. Service. <laughs> try that one. No, that's uh, YAML. Isn't there like some like cool no, uh, not YAML uh, option? Not YAML thingy. Right here. Can, click can, I, can I edit? No, you? I can't click those. Annotations. Can edit the annotations. Pause. What other actions are there? I can't. No, that's. I don't think you can change the service once it's, it's, it's instantiated. Not, you can. You can. You were. You were. No, doing I mean it with in the YAML, YAML. The question with is like, YAML, can you do yes, it? Not yeah. With, is there some sexy yeah, yeah. like UI way to do change it? Port. Serena, if you're still watching, I want a sexy service editor. Set traffic distribution. No, that's not gonna work. Why are there two edit application grouping options? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Just edit the service to, to the YAML at this point. Okay. Jeez Louise. I'm... And so you want to change the target port because the route is probably... I see it even... Oh, the route might also be wrong. Just make everything 8,000. All the things. Sure. Yeah, man. We're going we're gonna to make this work or not. <laughs> I don't know which chat room I'm supposed to be in right now, but all of them. I, I, like, how do you even get to these chat rooms? Anyways, I don't work know. Stuff. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll do mind. it. We all can right. do that on this Twitch too. If you really want. No, Did I'm you save it? Okay. Yeah, it's saved. Services. So now you probably have to edit the route as well. Service eight thousand. Where's the route going to be hiding? Um, in topology. Oh, is there a way to do this from the developer? Uh huh. Yeah. You can open the route. But okay. that's not going to work. Cause edit it's, the route. Uh, yeah. Unless I'm in here. It's the route in here. The route's here. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess we need to edit the YAML. Where is. Because the name. Oh, go. Yeah. So it's 8000 TCP. Yeah. It does the target port by the name. So the way that the way that OpenShift does the ingress, um, we have a controller that is a router, and it uses these things called route objects. And the it, it works very similar to Kubernetes ingress, but basically the the target port is the actual named identification of the port in the service. So on the service definition that we just changed, you'll remember that there was a port called uh, 8080 TCP, like sorry, 8000 TCP, the name. And so now if you save that, yeah, it should work now. Mm-hmm. Should being the operative uh, quantifier. As opposed to must, which is unlikely. There you go. Yeah, baby. We did Python. 
we did it. Yeah, the Pythons. same server errors last time because we didn't import the file. But if right. we import the file, it'll yep. work just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, See, Chris, I, I made a Python if you want. OpenShift developer out of you. I'm shocked. <laughs> but now I really am. Like, uh, I, not as shocked as yeah. I am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that I was able oh. to do it. How about that? No, that's still, that still sounds um, bad. That still sounds yeah, bad. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked that I was able to lead you down a sufficient path to give you what you needed to get it done. There you go. That makes it sound like it's all me that sucks, which is exactly what I was going for. Is it? You don't suck. You just taught me how to do stuff. How oh. can you suck? Well, damn. I guess I did all right then. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for joining, everyone. This has been yeah, our first we really horrifically awful streaming experience. Hopefully it wasn't this too wasn't terrible. This wasn't awful. We deployed three apps. Okay, well, two the, apps, the, the, two, the things that we did ways. on the stream were fine. The, the stream yeah. itself, no problem. Well, let me, the, the actions taken during the stream were good. It was uh, everything else about the stream that was awful. Like uh, All the middle parts. Yeah, all the middle parts, like using the tools and, um, and actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just all the streaming stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to play the all outro right. video and then I'm going to stop the stream. And then people can go back to their lives and um, probably enjoy themselves way more than they did watching us be total clowns. Eh, maybe. Yeah. Are we doing All something right. again sometime this week? Uh, this week, I think we are doing something maybe Thursday or Friday. I forget. I'll have to double check. I know we're not doing anything tomorrow or Is Wednesday. Is that like a though, you and I'm me busy thing? With Summit. Uh, I don't know. You want me to really pull up my calendar real quick? Uh, you okay. don't have to pull up Let's your see. calendar on the stream. I mean, like, I can. Well, it's not in that window. Oh. Not that stupid. <laughs> I, it was, that's not stupid. It's just a thing. It's a thing. Sometimes well, people let's do the things. see. No. Okay. So CNCF. Oh. So before we get off, CNCF has set up a webinar for all of us people, uh, the entire Kubernetes community, to teach us. Does that include to, me? Yes. Uh, everybody to teach us how to do OBS and Twitch streaming in general better as a community because we are all going to be doing more stuff like this. So, so, so what you're saying huge is Huge thanks to we... CNCF and George Castro and you know all the folks that got all that together for us. So what you're saying is that if we had waited until Friday to do this stream, we might have looked less like clowns? No, I'm saying we need all the practice we can get. Oh, okay, okay. All right. That makes me look smart when I say that. <laughs> I think it looks But no, we do not have anything else in the books and I do have a 2 hour slot open on Thursday if you do want to tinker. So Yes, we are going to find something else to tinker with. Maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll turn the, the turn it around and I'll be the clown trying to do Ruby or something. I mean, I know how to do Ruby, but I haven't done it on 4, so that could be no yeah, elephant clown. We could do that. Okay. Or, we'll figure it out. or 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 I could break the couch base operator six ways from Sundays again, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> But that's not OpenShift's fault. And no, I don't, wanna, true, I'm not, I don't blame true. Couchbase either. But like, no, I don't either. Um, yeah. I, I blame me and my ability to point out bugs. All right, mm. I gotta go. All right, Chief. Thanks so much. Thanks everybody Thank for you. watching. We appreciate all your follows and subscriptions. Um, be sure to check us out later, and we'll be uh, tweeting and letting folks know via social media when we stream again. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon, evening, whatever, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you.